Jim had been noticing Sarah for weeks. She was smart, funny, and, at least in his mind, completely out of his league. Every time he even thought about talking to her, his stomach would twist in knots, and his heart would start pounding like he was running a marathon. But today felt different. Jim was tired of letting his nerves get the best of him. With the school dance just days away, he couldn't stop picturing Sarah there, laughing and dancing, without him. That thought alone was enough to make up his mind. During lunch, as his friends joked about who was asking who, Jim quietly decided he was going to ask her. What's the worst that could happen, he thought, trying to calm the wave of butterflies in his stomach. After the final bell, Jim saw Sarah standing by her locker, nose deep in a textbook. He wiped his sweaty palms on his jeans, took a deep breath, and walked toward her. With every step, his nerves screamed at him to turn back, but he didn't stop. Hey, Sarah, Jim said, his voice trembling just a little. She looked up, gave him a smile that made his heart race even faster, and closed her book. I was wondering, Jim continued, trying to sound confident, would you want to go to the dance with me? For a moment, time seemed to freeze. Jim stood there, waiting for what felt like forever. Then, Sarah's smile grew wider, her eyes lighting up. I'd love to, she replied. Just like that, Jim realized something. The fear of asking had been way worse than actually doing it. Sometimes, he thought, the only thing standing in the way of something amazing is fear itself. When you push through your doubts, great things can happen. So next time you face an unnerving challenge, remember facing fear is the only way past it. Think positivity is a cure. Then keep spreading positivity like this.